Let's do this. Blow, blow, simmer the wind. Blow like you're never gonna blow again. I'm calling to you like a long lost friend. I know who you are. Blow, blow across the Okeechobee. All the way up the Meganope. Blow across the home of the Seminole. Alligators and the yard. What's the good work, guys? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well, enjoying the new Prime Country Song Book. Tons of y'all bought it. Guys, we're just 60 bucks away from reaching our thousand dollar goal. So, God bless every one of y'all bought it. Man, I've already, I've talked to my, I FaceTime my parents. Like I said, they're in Bolivia with the orphan, uh, at the orphanage with all the orphans right now. So, they, they were tickled pink, man. I told them we're going to send the money uh, this weekend. They can start buying the gifts and all that stuff. So, God bless you if you purchased that. If you haven't already, Go check it out at countrysongteacher.com. What I'm going to do with this video is this is something I love to do and I find myself doing pretty much every day. And that is taking songs that I know and just doing a little bit of finger picking. To me, that's what makes it fun. Instead of just always doing the strums, I just try to think of different ways I can kind of spice up guitar play and have a little fun with it. And I'm always just grabbing a guitar and doing some finger picking. So we're going to go over three songs from the Prime Country Songbook and just to finger pick the chorus, have a little fun with it. Again, just using our thumb. I'll show you some different ways, but mostly just picking down. So on this first song, Seminole Wind, John Anderson, all I'm doing, first lock in the two bottom strings and go E minor. Let's see. I'm, I'm doing five, four, three, two. So five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. Then go to a G. Again, keep the bottom two locked. Six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. Then remember on the D chord, I'll take my pinky finger off. Then I put my middle finger on the bottom string. So the D, and then an A, I keep the ring finger on that second string and press the two middle strings with one finger and go five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. So it's blow, blow, simmer on wind. Blow like you never gonna blow. And I, I've said this before, I always, when I first started learning guitar, I wanted to be able to finger pick so bad. I thought it sounded so cool. And to me, it just, if somebody can go. That's cool and all, but it just sounds just a little more advanced or special, whatever, if you can. have to go slow to me it just sounds cool so even if you have to just one two three five four three two five four three two then g six five four three six five four three d four three two one four three two one and then a five four three two five if you have to go slow as long as you can keep it steady with that steady rhythmic pattern they call it it's gonna sound pretty cool so that's a good one to try so again, for the whole ver chorus, it's going to be E minor, G, D, and A. Two four counts with each of those. The next one we're going to do is another little fun little jam, a little Toby Keith jam. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to roll and ride. I'd be wearing my six shooter, riding my pony on a cattle drive. Stealing a young girl's heart. So all I did on that one the entire time is went G, D, C, D. So <clears throat> again, locking the two bottom strings. Here we go. Five, let me six, five, four, three, and then go to D chord. Four, three, two, one. Then when I say a C, it's really a C at nine. You have those bottom two strings locked and go fourth and fifth and play. Five, four, three, two, then back to that D. Four, three, two, one. So it, 
Like I said, if you're a beginner, it's gonna be your chords A, they might not sound too clear, B, it might not be as fast as I'm doing it, but it's gonna be. Now notice I'm just using my thumb. If you need to use a pick, where's me a guitar pick? Who's my assistant? Find me a guitar pick. I can't find one. Okay, thanks. I'll fire them later. Uh, but like I said, I'm just using my thumb if you need to use a pick. But on this one, six, five, four, three, then four, three, two, one, C, five, four, three, two, back to D. And I mentioned this in other videos. If you're a beginner especially, you might need to tilt the guitar a little back so that you can see over it. Once you get advanced, you can kind of just feel it because you've been got a lot more experience playing. But at first, you might need to kind of lean the guitar back. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. I'd be wearing my six shooter, riding my pony, cattle drive. Still in a young girl's heart. Just like Jean. Singing those campfire songs Oh, I should have been a cowboy That's a jam there. Toby Keith had a lot of jams. Like I said, it's on there. The last one I'm going to play is a little of them. Let's see how fast I'm going to play it. And let's see how fast you can guess the artist of this one. Going 90 miles an hour down a dead end road did you know it? Be honest with you. Hey, by the way, smash that like button right now. Like my like pillow here, my like pillow. Let me know, y'all. Yeah, did you know this one? Going 90 miles an hour down a dead end road. What's the hurry, son? Where you gonna go? We're gonna hide at the moon, shoot out the lights. Small town, Saturday night. It's a small town, Saturday night. How catch them. I'm telling y'all, this is the best songbook I have. I like the four chord songbooks. They're fun and all that stuff. I love my worship songbook. I play that one every single day. But man, I grew up, this is memories back when I was 10 through 20. Those, those fun years of your life, man, just jamming that good country music. Um, so we're gonna start out on this one with a C chord. Going 90 miles an hour down a dead in the road. So I did Four times I did five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. Then go up to G. What's the hurry, son? So I did six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. And then D. Where you gonna go? So I did that. I did, so after G, I did one D, meaning four, three, two, one. And then E minor. We're gonna C, G, D, G. Real fast there, I'm going to five, four, three, two, four, five, then six, five, four, three. So the key, you want to know what chords, what chords, what strings you're going to pick on each of those chords. Anytime there's a G, play six, five, four, three. So get used to that. And I've said this in other videos, but it's worth noting, if you're a rookie, your chords probably aren't going to sound too clear. It's going to be like. That's okay. Just fight through it. Have as good a sound as you can and get your hand adjusted. Uh, the, be the best you can to get the clear sound. Going 90 miles an hour and then I'm dead in a road. What's the hurry, son? Where you gonna go? We're gonna hide at the moon, shoot at the light. It's a small town Saturday night. It's a small town Saturday night. John Mayer. All right, guys. That's about as good as I get, right? Thank y'all so much for all the support. Go get your songbook, support a good cause, and have a lot of fun jamming this weekend or whatever day you're watching this. I love you. More importantly, God loves you. That's the important thing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn those notifications on and smash that like button. 
for that good old YouTube algorithm. Al algorithm. Holla!